Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes. Welcome back to this final video in my series all about getting started with Steinberg's free music notation software, Dorico SE. This time, I'd like to take just a few minutes to show you some of the capabilities of Dorico's playback. The first thing to say is that Dorico is designed to produce a great playback experience without having to do anything more than input your music. Note onsets and durations are automatically humanized to avoid an overly robotic performance. Pitch contour emphasis analyzes melodic lines and makes rising passages progressively stronger while pulling back on descending passages. And voice balancing identifies the weaving strands of polyphonic music, giving prominence to each line as necessary. All of these effects are subtle, but work together to convey a more convincing rendition of your music. For more control, there's the key editor. As we've seen in earlier videos, the editor allows you to input and edit your music using a piano roll and graphical automation lanes. The piano roll displays music on a grid with editable pitch, note onsets and durations, and you can input new notes here as well. Dorico's focus on clean notation with expressive playback is supported here by two editing modes. When set to notated durations, the piano roll notes reflect the notation exactly. But when switched to played durations, you can view and edit that humanization that affects note onsets and durations, all without affecting the actual notation. The key editor view follows the selection in the notation by default. However, you can choose which instrument to view and even work with multiple instruments. You can open lanes for automating all sorts of data. Velocity, essentially the loudness or strength of notes, and which illustrates the effect of pitch contour emphasis. Dynamics, giving you control over the extent of hairpins and so on. A full tempo map allowing you to personalize ritardandos and rubato passages, pitch bend, and every MIDI controller channel, unlocking many of the characteristics of sound library presets. You can open as many lanes as you need and recall track configurations that you use often. The mixer allows you to set basic channel settings, such as pan and level, as well as temporarily muting or soloing instruments in your ensemble. You can add insert effects, apply equalization, and also control send effects. You can add multiple effects channels and send as much of the signal from an instrument channel as you need to each effects channel. Dorico uses the flexibility of these effects channels to build environments in which to simulate the playback of your music, and then places the individual instrumental players in your ensemble within those environments to mimic a real-world performance. Dorico Elements and Dorico Pro allow you to customize or build your own stage and space templates for maximum control. In this series, we've seen how Dorico includes the Halion Sonic Player for sound libraries and synths, and the Halion Sonic Selection Library, boasting a huge range of sounds covering many instrument types. Dorico Elements and Pro include many more sounds, including Iconica Sketch, a complete orchestral library, and Groove Agent SE for great sounding drum kits. We've seen how to change instruments using Halion Sonic. And you can also load other VST instruments you may own and route your project tracks to playback using any sounds you have on your system. Dorico is able to link notations and markings in your score to specific presets and features of the sound libraries you're using. There are playback templates available for many popular third-party sound libraries, and it's possible to build your own custom templates for complete control over the sounds you want to use. Dorico SE can import MIDI files as well as music XML files, giving you a welcome shortcut to inputting music into Dorico, especially when starting from a mock-up in a DAW. Dorico Elements and Dorico Pro have advanced smart MIDI import features, which can make importing files with a large number of tracks, often for the same instrument, much quicker 
and cleaner. As I mentioned at the very beginning of this series, I composed and produced the title music for these videos entirely using Dorico SE and the sounds from the Halion Sonic selection. I started by adding a few synth instruments to my project and edited their names in order to distinguish between lead and pad sounds and so on. I browsed the available sounds using Media Bay. Chose a few to get started with and input the music using a combination of the computer keyboard and live MIDI recording. Some sounds change their tone or character when played louder or softer. So I used the velocity lane in the key editor to set the exact values I wanted. I edited the played durations of notes for the lead instrument that uses a solo synth preset so that they overlap and trigger the portamento effect. I could also add slurs to the notation to achieve this same effect. I used the MIDI controller channel for dynamics to crossfade between the two lead instruments. I added the delay insert effect to the electric piano as well as routing it to a second effects channel that I set up with a large reverb to give a more shimmery sound. I found a synth pad instrument with an arpeggiated motion for the main chords as it gives that part a bit more movement. And then doubled that with another arpeggiated lead synth to add even more rhythmic interest. I added some insert effects to certain instruments, such as a maximizer and a delay, to give them a little more depth and presence. I wanted the delay effect on some of the instruments in the drum kit, but not all, so I loaded the second instance of the same kit preset, but this time with an added delay insert and then routed the relevant instruments to that channel. Finally, I controlled the sustain pedal on the electric piano pad using CC64 in order to hold the sound for a few beats at the end of the track. And that wraps up this series about getting started with Dorico SE. I really do hope you found it useful. Please let me know in the comments. If you've enjoyed the video, I'd be so grateful if you could hit the like button below. Thank you so much. And if you subscribe to our channel and click the bell button, you'll be notified when we release more videos about Dorico. Until then, look after yourselves. I'm Anthony Hughes. Thanks for watching.